Alright, what's good y'all? It's your boy JP. Today's video we're gonna be reacting to Sign Shy King of Muay Thai Original Korea uh, documentary. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Uh, it's gonna be my first time watching this. I've heard a lot of people say uh, Sign Shy is the GOAT greatest of all time when it comes to um, uh, Muay Thai. So y'all let me know in the comments if y'all feel the same way. But we ain't gonna waste no time. We're gonna jump right in it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, turn your post notifications on so you know anytime I post a video. Request any videos y'all like for me to react to. Put me on to something and I got you. I'm gonna react to it. But yeah, let's waste no time. Let's see this career documentary. Let's see how he's giving it up uh, and how he came up, you know? But let's get it. One. A historic practitioner of Muay Thai with over 300 wins. 300 and wins? Two decades of dominance. Sanchai. King Star. Bro, 300 wins? That's a whole different ball game. I, I mean, he's been doing it, well, I guess, well, almost 20 years or, or 20 years now. That's big. And Muay Thai is like. Listen, for you to do it for that long and have that many wins, you gotta really be that guy. This is the greatest Muay Thai fighter of his generation. Maybe one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters ever. Look at that lean back, lightning fast lean back. An almost elastic ability oh, to dodge attacks. You know what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. It's just like, his his fighting is him. He's kind of outgoing, like, this is a weird, funky guy, and it makes sense that he fights like that. His fighting is definitely an expression of himself. He has the reflexes of a cat. Ooh. And the speed of a mongoose. Throw it. I dare oh, yeah. His sweeps and throws are some of the most effective in the sport's history. Yo! He even has his own signature move, like a Street Fighter character. Oh! The <laughs> Hold up, I wasn't ready to see that one right there. Yo, it looked too easy for him. He even has his own signature move, like a Street Fighter character. Cartwheel kick. The cartwheel kick. This is Senchai's version of a Tiger Uppercut or Sonic Boom. We on the boom, perfect timing. When you when you fight this level, even the blocks hurt. That there's a magic to his movement. How did Sanchai figure out how to do Muay Thai different than anybody? He's basically Ooh. the Pele or Sugar Ray Robinson of Muay Thai. Muay Thai or Thai boxing is a national sport in Thailand. The sport of Muay Thai has a documented history going back centuries. It's hugely popular. Also, among children, the best fighters are trained from childhood, and so the level of skill and competition is through the roof. Like the great warriors of the past, Sen Chai began training as a child. By eight years old, he was fighting for dollar purses in front of local crowds. Much of his early career isn't available. Lost to time. Wai Tai is a deep-rooted tradition here. The Lumpini title is considered the most prestigious title in Muay Thai. Senchai would capture it an astounding five times across five weight divisions. You see, I like that. Uh, the fact that they start very, very young is a good thing because, I mean, even if everybody don't get, you know, the career that he got, at least even from a young age, you know how to defend yourself, which is... You know, big because you know a lot of these kids, these kids. I mean, obviously it's a different country, but I'm pretty sure bullying goes around everywhere. So, being the fact that they train it from the the time that they young is good. You don't get the career, but at least you know how to defend yourself and protect yourself out there. He captured his first Lumpini title in '97 at age 16. Yeah, he can do it all. He can check. He can box. He can clench. He, he can do it all. He burst onto the scene in 95, and has been a fixture of the sport ever since, even today. He 
beautiful left kick from Sancho there. He's so interesting with his quick switches of the feet and like even the way he throws kicks, he's just got like a little different flavor just, to everything he does. I don't think he can help it. You know what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. Nice kick from Sancho. Good balance. <laughs> no playing now, is there? There is a spiritual side to the art of eight limbs. Waikru is a ritual ceremony performed by Muay Thai fighters directly before engaging in battle. DVD. I can't stress this enough. You need to go to these shows live to appreciate the skills. You can't argue with the skills. You can't argue. It looked too easy. He's something special. It takes a lot of energy to move around the way he does. Yeah, I'm sure he still shows up to the gym every single day. Too. I'm sure. And he's like holding pads for foreigners and all that stuff. The cartwheel kick. Senchai is credited for inventing it, and he tries to use it every fight. He's so good. Meanwhile, he's in his prime. Still people up. Multiple times more. <laughs> Have fight. Good luck. He won Fighter of the Year in both 99 and 2008. He's mastered distance management, using teeps and counters to control the action. I would say his kick is absolutely Ooh. disgusting. That's a big right hand as well. <laughs> My my. One of the most stylistic Muay Thai artists ever. Compared to like watching Muay Thai in the States and then going there, the amount of kicks and knees that they're doing. Mm. I'm Wait. looking at fighting like, okay, like, when's the next punch gonna happen? These guys throwing kick after kick after kick for five rounds. Bro, what? He broke him down. I'm looking at fighting like, okay, like, when's the next punch gonna happen? These guys throwing kick after kick after kick for five rounds. After winning five Lumpini titles, San Chai was revered as an icon in Thailand. To be honest, Davey, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Commentating on a San Chai fight. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> San Chai, obviously, an absolute legend in the sport. Um, his fight against Pornson in Lumpini, wow. Yeah, how old is he now? Because if he's still, you know, doing his thing, and he's been out since the 90s. He got to be, you know, somewhere in his 40s. But his motor is just, like, different from what I've, what I've seen. Like, I don't know. It's just something about the way he fights with the aggression. It's, it's different. His next level skill was always on full display. Always fighting with such ease and comfort. A true warrior artist. He understood the value of winning the crowd. <laughs> Depending upon where he was, he'd adjust his style to please that particular crowd. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
ันค้าของแสนใจนะครับถ้ามาดิจิโลลินส์เพรสซิน which I love a nice elbow again โอ้ยสวยไหมครับสวยไหมครับ bro he's bold Win the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. I will win the crowd. I will give them something they've never seen before. Everyone's been talking about, and everyone's came to see Sanchez against McCall, two of Thailand's <laughs> best fighters. Sanchez already fast start with the left body kick. <laughs> wow, the balance <laughs> is just fantastic. Against one of the best fighters in the world, Sanchez put on a master class. Jumping left kick into a left kick again <laughs> as like as he lands. That is ridiculous balance. Known as a <laughs> tricky fighter. One of Sanchez's old tricks there. Oh. Cartwheel kick from Sanchai this early on. <laughs> Round one. Lands it flush as well. Beautiful takedown there. Catching Takon's right body kick. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? The cameraman doesn't even show us the round number here. Okay. Sanchai, a very tricky fighter. A lot of flash, a lot of faking. It's amazing the speed at which Sanchez can move around to Takon's back. His ability to maneuver the ring was on full display. Leaping kicks, cartwheels, knees, elbows. It was an entire arsenal brought to us by the GOAT, Sanchez. Oh, solid left kick. Ah, beautiful safe kick by Sanchez. Skipping inside to from Sanchez there. Good block. Oh, big rear leg and teeth. His from trickster ways are a brilliant set of skills that keep opponents off balance. They're just amazing. Yeah. Back with a double left of his own. Pakorn was a Lumpini champion. Senchai made him look lost. Big teeth from Senchai getting out of trouble. How they're on the feet for these two titles. And and after get five to the world's sensational best. rounds of Muay Thai Absolutely boxing, amazing we now go to the judges' scores. In, in the red corner, Sanchai PK, Sanchai Muay Thai. The win sent Sanchai notice to the Muay Thai Jewish world. Sanchai's reign was far from over. For Muay Thai, I've done Sanchai is an ambassador of all Muay Thai represents. A calm, controlled art that's been honed over centuries in one of the most beautiful places on earth, Thailand. Sanchai has a knack for fighting opponents who are considerably larger than himself. He's developed a reputation as a giant slayer. Against foreign fighters, weight was little more than a number. As Sanchai fought men who towered over him. Sanchai obviously very, very tricky. Great balance, lots of faking, and steps forward, hard shots. Even in the elite die ranks, Sanchai was consistently giving up two to three pounds to his opponents. The cartwheel kick is highly difficult to execute, and yet Sanchai does so consistently. He seamlessly switches between distance and uses incredible feints to lure opponents into mistakes. It's an exciting style that keeps opponents off balance. The vicious elbow. Oh, 
มอยมอยครับสิบเลยมาเล่นน้ำมาเลสานชัย just has so many tricks and feints and everything doesn't he? His balance is just amazing, Davy. Yes. Bye bye. By way of knockout in the first round, Thailand Sanjay PK Sanjay wins for you. Here, Sanchai launches into his signature move. Then comes right back with a head kick. Against another significantly larger man, San Chai. Yo, listen, San Chai on a whole different time. It's like it looks so easy to him that it looked like they just let him beat him up. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, bro, if he put his his foot on your chest, they be flying. If you kick him and he grab that leg, it's over. Cause he's gonna kick right under you and drop you. He got the car wheel kick that he invented. This, this is crazy. Him apart. Yeah, Sancho is just. Hey. His skill is just unmatched. Here, he feigns a kick, then slips around behind his opponent. Landing the devastating body shot. <laughs> Not much feeling out here. Um, oh, the letting the shots go already. Right? Bye bye. This is the tale of most of Sanchai's fights. A one-sided drumming, a thorough domination, which usually ends in a spectacular knockout. Against Sean Clancy, another larger man, it was more of the same. He bends without breaking. With so many tricks in his bag, Sanchai is impossible to anticipate. An excellent counter punch ends the bout in an instant. Oh, oh, it's in Thai, lah, cap. Oh, 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 A brutal elbow landed right on target. The vicious first round knockout. Pay attention to this question mark kick from Senchai. It's just a thing of beauty.
He often frustrates his opponents with his flamboyant defense. <laughs> Senchai has never lost in Thai fight. A perfect 61 and 0. A strike so quick, it is virtually unblockable. <laughs> One of my favorite kind of knockouts, the delayed knockout. When the opponent takes a few moments to realize that they've been knocked out already. I wanted to end with one of my favorite Sanchai moments. His opponent, Gabriel Dos Santos, got a little pushy pre-fight. Sanchai laughed it off. However, as the match began, Sanchai's foot got caught in the ropes. When this occurs, Dos Santos attempts to strike, which is considered extremely dirty in the sport. The ref steps in to allow Sanchai to free his leg. But Senchai is not happy about it. What ensued was Senchai imposing his will on Dos Santos, toying with him, <laughs> embarrassing him. I mean, it might be considered dirty. Which is respectable, but his opponent probably looking at it like, listen, I need any little edge to try to get over on him because he's just too nice. You can't really do nothing with him, you know what I'm saying? He broke out every trick in the book to make sure Dos Santos forever remembered the night he dared cheap shot. The Muay Thai Goat. Oh my Sen Chai is considered by many to be the greatest practitioner of Muay Thai in the sport's history. An exciting style mixed with tremendous showmanship. Ooh. A fluidity that keeps foes off balance as he seamlessly moves between styles. For two decades, he's reigned atop the sport. Dazzling spectators and inspiring the next generation of great warriors. Sen Chai, King Star, Goat of Muay Thai. Nobody brings it home like a Yo, look, I'm gonna tell you this one thing. You gotta have a lot of boys to jump in that ring with Sen Shai, to be honest, because there's nothing that, that, that you could do with that man. Just that one kick to the chest, bro, it, he really having these uh, Muay Thai fighters just flying. That kick uh, that he invented, like the car wheel, it, it's super tough. I mean, I wonder why he never made the transition. Uh, I mean, he is the GOAT in Muay Thai. He's, he got an undefeated record. I believe what he said, like 60 something and oh, um, I wonder why he never made the transition to like the the UFC space because I don't know I feel like You know if he's dominated that for like 20 years if he was to jump in the I mean I'm pretty sure he's probably older now even though he's still nice I don't know if he you know he won't even go that route But you know him abusing his 
you know, his league and what he's doing. If he would have jumped into UFC, I mean, who knows? His career probably would have been on a whole different level in terms of like money. I don't know how, how much, you know, uh, Muay Thai fighters get paid, but you know, if he was doing UFC, I'm sure they probably, you know, he probably would have been one of them top dogs, if not the top dog in, in, in UFC uh, to date. But this is the end of the video, y'all. I really enjoyed this one. This was something different. Um, Sanchai, man, salute to him. Because he's really fucking these Muay Thai fighters up. He's dancing, he's playing around. There's nothing anybody could do with him um, right now. But yeah, this is the end, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, recommend any videos you'd like for me to react to. And I got you. I'm going to get them done. Uh, but yeah, until the next one, I'm off this. Oh!